everyone, I'm in my car because I have to go do some last minute things before my trip and I don't want to go out. It is freezing. Look. I'm ready to strangle someone. <laughs> I have to gas up at some point during this outing, so I needed gloves. I am going out and about to all kinds of places and I'm taking you with me for the ride. I have this camera set up in case I feel like chatting with you while I'm actually driving. I think we're starting with the bank. I just need to make a deposit. Then I'm going by the P.O. box to mail a couple of things. Then I guess I'll gas up. Possibly Dollar Tree after that. And then Shaw's because my mother needs bread. And I still haven't been to Shaw's to check out their bread. She also wants saltines and grams. I might get those at Dollar Tree if I decide to go there. I don't know. I just know I have a lot of stuff to do. So let's just get going and I will be showing you the ride everywhere I go. I do want to mention that the quilt top video is done. I still have a little bit of editing to do and that will go up uh, Wednesday night or Wednesday, sometime on Wednesday, because I will have this video up tonight. It's Tuesday right now. Tomorrow I'm not going to be recording at all because I need to be packing and getting my mother's food in order for while I'm gone and just different things like that, laundry, whatever. But I will have that video done and ready to upload and to do a premiere with that. I really like the way the quilt top came out and I hope you guys do too. drive through to make a deposit. I normally park and just go to the deposit box, get out of my car and go to the deposit box, but I don't feel like doing that. It is really cold. You know, it's 21. I've been out without a sweatshirt on at 21 or even less. <laughs> Again, it's the sun is down and it just feels bitter. I don't know. Maybe I just can't take the cold all of a sudden. But I'm not complaining about it, not like if it was hot. You know how much I hate the heat. Now we are going to the post office box.
last mailed auction winnings going out to Adrian and Paula. I don't even know why I'm bothering to get gas. I have three quarters of a tank. Just because I'm going to Manchester, I thought I might have less than that, but I might as well go fill up. kidding me? There's waiting to get gas? No, no thank you. Maybe I'll come back after I do my other stuff. All right, um, let's go to Dollar Tree. been to Dollar Tree and I bought 26 items. I want to say hello to Eric and Jan. Eric happened to be in the store behind me and when I came out I was at my car and he comes up to me and I thought he was telling me that I had left a bag or something at the store but he just wanted to ask if I was the one from YouTube and he said that he and his wife love my videos. Thank you so much. Didn't mind potty mouth either he said. <laughs> So hello Eric and Jan, even though I didn't get to meet Jan, thank you so much for watching my videos. Now, I am going to Shaw's. I'm not going to show you uh, what I got at Dollar Tree from here because my camera is here, but I'm taking this camera down and taking it into Shaw's with me. And then when I come out, it'll be on my usual spot on the dashboard on my purse. And I can show you just a couple of the things that I got at Dollar Tree that you might not know what they are. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. So let's go to Shaw's and I'm mainly going for bread. I got my mother's uh, saltines that she wanted and her Grahams that she wanted here. And uh, she wanted the lipstick that I got the other day that she really liked it. And uh, she also wanted one of the face powders. So I got that. Um, so let's just go get her bread and I might look for a steak because I haven't had a steak 
in probably a week. I've been living off ground beef and uh, chicken. Let's just go check it out. This is my old stomping grounds and uh, the very first person I see is somebody I used to talk to all the time when I used to come in here to pick up the flyers on Mondays and um, I made a complete idiot of myself. <laughs> it doesn't take long for that to happen. It's just the anxiety that kicks in and I don't know what to say and I say stupid things. I'm not even telling you what I said. I'm here for bread but I'm just curious to see if they have onion rings for my mother. I'm not getting any today, but I'm just curious to see what they have. I don't see any. I'm probably looking in the wrong spot. They have them, and they're on sale for $2.99. I'm gonna get a bag. I have room in the freezer. I'm in the bread aisle, coming up to the store brand. Their single muffins are $1.69 for one. 99 cents at Hannaford. However, they looked bigger here. Okay. Bread, bread alert. For sure I can get white, but I was just curious to know if they had Italian store brand. If not, the other Italian is like kind of expensive. Vienna bread, huh? That looks like it might be Italian. It's got little seeds on it. She's gonna try it. It is, I don't know how much it is. Let me look. It's 250, 159 or 169 at Hannaford. And I don't know if she's gonna be thrilled with the seeds. Could try just regular white. I feel so weird in this store. Um, I'm gonna get her one and I'm gonna get her a white also. This is only $1.29, so she can test them both. I will be saving in other ways once I start paying attention to the stuff that they have going on, but I do not want to get caught up in the whole couponing thing. I don't even like the stuff that you gotta go and clip online and put your phone number in. I just don't wanna work at this at all. I wanna be able to come and shop and like a normal person. Do they have a sale on butter? See, I didn't look at the flyer or anything before coming out. No sale on butter. They have reduced bakery here. This is where I used to get her those ring cakes that she absolutely loved. They were like a muffin. All right, let's see. Lots of reduced bread. She doesn't care for, oh. God, she would love it if I made her an Italian. These are authentic rolls to make Italian sandwiches, but I'm not doing that. And what's that? Pumpkin spice nut toffee. Whoops. I'm being caught. I don't see that those are marked down. She doesn't need any of that anyway. She has snack mix. Cornbread square. Is anything actually marked down? Oh yeah, this was $3.99, now it's $1.99. Jeez, it's expensive. Instead of five, it's $2.99 for these little red velvet whoopie pies. I don't know, those look like a hot mess, tipped over and everything. And I'm thinking that's left over from the Super Bowl. I don't know. Not getting anything from there. I did get 
steak that I don't usually pay this much for. It's normally $9.99 per pound and it's on sale for $4.88 per pound. It is New York strip steak with the bone in. I love bone in. <laughs> and uh, it looks like this. And I paid $7.61 I will pay for this. And I better not fuck it up cooking it. I want it to be tender. But seriously, with the bone, it's always more tender and juicy. I think that we're done. I think we did all right for our first day here in a long time. They don't have self-scan here anymore, but they have aisles with an actual employee, uh, 10 items or less. There's four aisles and there are two of them open, so I like that. You can get through quick, but you don't have to do your own scanning. And if something goes wrong, you don't have to call somebody over. So, I will talk to you in the car. I went in the store saying something dumb and I left the store saying something dumb. I think I just say dumb things all the time. <laughs> I just don't normally care. I say stupid things here on videos, but that's okay because I feel like I'm entertaining people. But when I'm in a store talking to a cashier or something, I don't know. I just get so nerved up and I was nervous about going in there anyway just because of seeing people who knew me so well way back then. And there was an employee there who was there for a long time while I was there, but then she went to another store and she was back. And I couldn't bring myself to say hi to her. I don't know. Oh my God, anxiety sucks. But I did pretty good in the store. I actually bought a couple of things and I will get better. Now, I do wanna say this because People who know me from the coupon days will be watching this video. Many of them will because I will have it in my Shaw's group because I had a Shaw's group way back then. And I know everybody's going to be dying to tell me, you can do this and you can get that and there's a deal on this and I don't want to go back there. I posted in a Shaw's group that I was going to be shopping at Shaw's again. And I think a lot of people thought that meant I was jumping back into the whole coupon game and I'm not. As a matter of fact, I had printed out uh, something for the new system. What is it called? Just for you. It used to be my mix. Now it's just for you. And that ended on the 7th and I was already like, I have to get to the store by the 7th. And I was like, no, I'm not going to be like that. I was going to be able to get like a dollar off any pasta, a dollar off any canned vegetable. There was something else. And, you know, if that would have been convenient for me to get, I would have certainly gotten those things. But the seventh came and went and I was a little bit sick over it. And I don't want to be sick over things like that. So today when I knew I was going out, I said, oh, I'll check and see if there's anything for me. And I forgot. And while I was on the road... I remembered and I almost considered going home to check because I don't even have my phone with me. I wouldn't even know how to check on a phone. I don't like phones. And I was like, no, you're not going to make a detour and waste precious time to possibly get a couple bucks off something. See how fast though I could get back into that because I was so strict about couponing when I did it, that it became like an illness to me. It was certainly an addiction that I had a very hard time coming out of. I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to shop again and spend money on things. It was awful and I don't want to revisit that. So what I plan on doing though with Shaw's is, the hell? Is my car on fire? What's all that where is that coming from? Oh, there's a person in the truck next to me. It's his exhaust. It's very smoky. What I plan on doing is I do want to check out the flyer the day that I'm shopping, that I know I'm shopping. I don't want to look and say, oh, is there anything I should go get this week? Because if the week goes by and I don't get it, I'm going to feel sick that I didn't. So the day that I want to come here and shop, I will check the flyer online to see if there's anything that I might want to pick up while it's on sale. And I will stock up at sale prices because that's 
the whole thing, how you saved even with coupons. You buy when you can get it at the lowest price and then you don't have to ever buy it at full price. So it's just me and my mother. I don't need a stockpile. I didn't need the stockpile that I had back then that I still have a lot of. A lot of wasted food. Sure, I got it for free, but all that work that I put into getting all that free food is it's just, oh my God, please, I never want to go back there. But I will shop with the camera unless somebody tells me I no longer can. And I will be able to get some good deals here because they do have sales. I don't want to get caught up into having to do every sale they have. I don't want to be looking to print coupons. I don't give a shit if I never activate anything online. So I hope people don't just fill me with all the things that I missed out on because I really would rather not know that. <laughs> it feels better if I don't know that I could have gotten eggs for 99 cents over the weekend. That's the other thing. They have sales um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, like eggs were only 99 cents, which is a phenomenal price. Right now they were 149, but I have a couple dozen. I didn't want to buy eggs. So, but I will watch. And when things are on sale, I will buy. And I'm very glad that my mother has at least a Vienna bread option. And if she likes the white bread, she'll be happy with that too. And I, but I forgot to look to see how much their other Italian bread is. They're usually pretty expensive, like four bucks a loaf. I think my mother will like what I got her. So, so buttons. I am going to, oh, let me show you a couple things. I was surprised that Dollar Tree, normally their saltines are a two pack box, but they had full size boxes, four full size packs of saltines. I guess I'll show you in case you don't know what a saltine is. Crackers like this. So I've got three boxes. And you know what? I'm arriving Valentine's Day and I didn't even dawn on me to get Skylar some stuff. So I got some stuff for Skylar and my mother. I got them each a box of chocolate. Let me see if I can show you that. I thought Skylar would like getting grown up chocolates. Where the hell is everything? You know, it's just a little box of chocolates, but for a buck, that's pretty good. It's got those. Let's see. Caramel, strawberry cream, orange cream, cocoa truffle, and chocolate caramel. I think they're going to each like that. And then I got Skylar this little chocolate raccoon because she loves to feed our pet raccoon. She calls it Rocky. We have a raccoon that comes every summer. Um, his name is Bandit, but it's a raccoon. I got my mother her chocolate syrup that I can get at Dollar Tree for a buck. And then I got something that you guys probably don't have in your neck of the woods, especially if you're outside of the U.S. of A. Moon pies. These are mini moon pies. And they look like that and they are chocolate and it's like a graham on each side like a graham sandwich but it's not quite graham i don't know i don't know how they describe it they don't and then i don't remember if that filling in there where the hell ah there we go is marshmallow or a cream doesn't say does it Anyway, my mother will like them, and I don't know if Skylar's ever had that, so I got her a box also. I got my mother all kinds of cookies. I got her these that she likes. They're just uh, cookies with um, like chocolate drizzled on top. You know what I mean. Where's the other cookies I got her? Well, my mother's always asking for lollipops, so I got her those. I bet they're shitty flavor. They're probably just sugary, but we got that. Oh, my God, Skylar. Now, I know this is babyish, but we make up games, and we love all kinds of dice, cards. What's the other thing we like? Dominoes, anything like that. We love to make up games. So this has Go Fish, Old Maid, and Matching, and I'm just going to make up games, and we can use those cards. We may even, like, mix all three decks together and come up with some fun games. We love to have the games involve everything. The dice, the dominoes, cards, and we like to make up weird ways that we can like 
get bonus points or whatever and she likes to keep track of the points and it's just fun so maybe we will record some of that for her channel for you guys just to see some of the wacky little games that we make up and she still has the marble run that we made the last time that I was there so I'm sure we'll be playing with that too I know I got my mother another box of cookies of some kind where are they oh I got my mother the Swiss rolls like this and I know what the other cookies are now. They're the um, chocolate-covered Grahams. Ah, here they are. Chocolate-covered Grahams. So she will have plenty of sweet stuff. You saw the Shaw's things. I'm just looking to see. Then I picked up some makeup brushes. And I got her the lipstick she wanted and face powder. Oh, and I got, see, dice! Look, I got her the bowling dice. Oh, we're going to have fun with that. I just can't wait to be there and just play games and just have fun. Oh, and I got my mother Thin Mints. So she's got enough stuff. All right, I will take you for the ride home. Ugh, so much stuff. Do I want to go gas up? I really don't think I need any gas. I mean, I know I don't. I have more than enough to get to Manchester and back. So I think I'll skip that. Let's just go home. Thank you so much for watching. And I want Eric to know that I appreciated that he came up to me. You know, it's funny that as much social anxiety as I have, when someone tells me they know me from the videos, from YouTube, I do all right with that. I think Eric would say I looked normal and human. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a calm comes over me. It does make me happy when people come up to me and I can see in their face that they mean it, that they enjoy my videos. It makes it worth all the other bullshit that goes on with this job. So, Eric, you made my day. Thank you so much. Please. And hello to his wife, Jan. I wish I would have met you, too. If you guys ever see me out and about again, please do say hello. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye! to check for roast beef. You can tell that it's not that important to me because it didn't even dawn on me. But now that I think of it, it would have been cool if I could have had that for on the plane. I don't know, should I go back? No, I'm not going back. I will make do. I will just cook some hamburger patties or something. But I didn't even think of it. I would be curious to see if they have Old Neighborhood. We will find out next time. it's supposed to snow and I just saw a snowflake like one snowflake just flew by I'm very concerned that that might affect my trip it's supposed to snow tomorrow which is Wednesday and I leave on Thursday so hopefully fingers crossed that that goes okay for me Skyla would be heartbroken if my trip is canceled it was canceled once last year and she was not happy it's gonna be fine. I've decided I am going to get gas.
Once again, I decided I'm not. <laughs> and I know now why there's so many people gassing up. It's because we're getting a snowstorm. They think they need to gas up for that. Oh my God. Now I'm stuck at a red light. Life sucks.